All right, brace yourself. This entire video is just me venting about YouTube because it's gotten to the point where I can't hold that back anymore or put some kind of positive spin on it. Yesterday, I posted a video titled The Absolute Pathetic State of YouTube in which I showcased how they have boatloads of unclothed people all over the platform doing fill-in-the-blank type things because the hypocrisy of their moderation and policy enforcement is undeniable. I mostly did that video because I've been punished in the past, such as demonetization or more severely losing my self-certification ability for things that were not even close to what exists elsewhere on the platform. But also I found out about a whole bunch more that was happening behind the scenes, which made the issue far larger than what I initially discovered. Now, I'm gonna sound a little strange in this video, especially my language most of all, and there's a very deliberate reason for that. In my previous video, I'll link it down below in the description, even though that might already be enough to get me punished, but I was very careful to censor not only my words, but also any relevant visuals, especially. I made sure to follow the terms of service with precision, absolute precision, hoping to still abide by their subjective, ill-defined, and garbage terms of service and avoid being demonetized. But, that obviously didn't happen. Me even saying the censored description of what YouTube has plastered all over their search results, playlists, and advertising gets me demonetized, but even still, if that were the only thing, I wouldn't be doing a follow-up. The icing on the cake is the advertising. One of the things I covered in my previous video was how there were, and here's where I literally can't even describe what this ad truly is because some keyboard monkey over at YouTube will flag me down. There were, Ads about a legal family member, a legal parent slash guardian, actually. How do I even say this? Getting geschmoigity with their own child. It's a cartoon, interfamily, giggity comic, and it's being advertised on family friendly YouTube channels. Now, I myself am not necessarily family friendly at this stage, but I gave other examples of this ad showing up constantly on Markiplier's content, or even further, because there were so many other examples of crap that I discovered, full on, super mature, highly explicit videos and thumbnails for playlists littered across the platform everywhere with keywords targeting memes, kids, Fortnite, you name it. Again, there is a lot of context here that I literally just can't say or show because I'll get demonetized and throttled again, but the previous video is linked down below in the description. Here's the thing. Normally, I wouldn't care about demonetization as much as I do right now, but the past couple of weeks, five of my videos have been hit. Well, to be fair, one of them was actually a manual copyright block in most countries from someone at Netflix over my I Care A Lot movie review, which incidentally was my most popular upload from the past month, so that's even better. But anyways, all of those videos now fail to earn ad revenue. Still, that wouldn't be a huge deal if the videos were able to garner solid viewership and grow the channel. If a video is demonetized but still garners new subscribers or viewers, no problem. Just keep trucking along and that will eventually convert and pay the bills, right? No, wrong. It should be that way, but YouTube doesn't let that happen. The company has long maintained that there is no actual link between limited ads or demonetized status and viewership slash algorithmic promotion. But when my most recent video got demonetized, well, it's pretty obvious what happened right after. I sat there watching it fall off the cliff in real time from the precise moment it got demonetized, thinking, wow, <laughs> definitely no link here. No way, Jose. These factors combined put me in a somewhat different position. If it were just the demonetized status on a few different videos, no big deal. I also lost access to the self-certification program because someone at YouTube thought that me talking about the Mass Effect cutscenes was so egregious that they had to override my own selection, but whatever. If it were just the demonetization or just the self-certification thing, fine. I'll deal with the algorithm and the bot and all the garbage that comes with that, but when it's that plus a 60 to 80% viewership throttle whenever it happens, things change. But even then, I probably would have just shut up and let it be. I have other things going on. I have other mechanisms to monetize, absolutely. I have platform alternatives, speaking of which. Anyone who supports the channel, please consider either signing up on Odyssey and watching the content there. It's a YouTube alternative that rewards me greatly. Or subscribing on Locals for $5 a month. I know it's a new platform. It's hard to get people to convert, but just consider it if you have any interest. Those two are going to be a primary focus from here on out for channel stability, along with sponsors as well. So anyone who wants to, they're linked down below in the description. Back on task. If the demonetization, self-certification, and viewership throttling especially were the only things, I probably would have left it. But late last night, someone sent me this, claiming that it had shown up on my video. The actual video that got demonetized for talking about how that ad and its parent site contain things so much worse than anything I have ever shown or talked about. 
hopefully it's starting to make sense here. YouTube is perfectly okay with having cartoon, again, I have to completely reformat how I say things because the algorithm will flag me. They are perfectly okay with having cartoon Oingo Boingo ads between step family members and then showing those ads on kids content deliberately targeted by keywords at children. But then when I discuss how that's not okay to do and how a bunch of things that are way worse occur all over the search results every single day constantly, they show that very same ad that's not okay on my video and demonetize me, which leads to the video getting throttled out of the search results, thereby punishing me for being too explicit. That's literally what they said for violating their policy guidelines around that type of content. But showing the actual stuff I got demonetized for censoring on my own video and stopping me from getting viewership or earning money on it. Like, it's just, it's absurd. I don't normally do content that contains this much, honestly, just flat out ranting, but any which way I play this out in my mind, it's absolutely insane. This was a manual review, a manual review I can't dispute, a manual review from a human being who looked at the content I showed, decided, even though it's censored, let's still demonetize him, that demonetization throttles the video, which they constantly lie about by claiming there is no link between algorithm and monetization status, no, 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 and then, to top it all off, the cartoon mom that slurpy slurpees her kid gets shown on my video while all the rest of what I discussed is still there. Meaning a human watched the video, a human who reviews content for YouTube. They saw what I had discovered, didn't remove any of it or push it to the authority who would, but demonetized me. I can't stress this enough. The content that I found is keyword targeted at kids' channels or Fortnite directories. It's material that is designed deliberately, like one second videos ripped from adult sites to index the thumbnail, to create false traffic for unrelated content by putting inappropriate visuals in front of children directly in the search results. I can't show any of it. You get to watch completely unrelated gameplay right now because if I show any of it, even censored, not only would I get demonetized again, but the video would get suppressed out of the search results and no one would be able to find it in order to understand that YouTube has a serious problem here on their hands that is being manually, deliberately stuffed under the rug. This problem has a very simple fix. Have one employee for like half an hour, it took me five minutes to find most of this, search up basic terms to find the directory full of nudity and then ban the violations. I'm not even saying ban all of it because YouTube clearly wants it there and crafted a special set of contradictory terms and guidelines so that it could remain like deliberately, but some of it is just undeniable. Again, watch my previous video, you'll see what I mean. And I'm, I'm not over exaggerating here, I promise. After that, don't put cartoon ads on videos that are worse than anything the video itself could ever contain while demonetizing the creator and throttling their entire channel because they talked about the stuff you advertise. It's pretty simple. My solution is to just keep reporting stuff when I see it, like the ads or the clearly unacceptable stuff all over their front page search results for multiple different keywords while onboarding more sponsors. Don't hate me for that. I know that people aren't a huge fan of sponsors these days. A lot of the time they just disrupt the content, but that's kind of what needs to happen right now, as well as heavily promoting Odyssey and Locals. They are never required, but I might be mentioning them a bit more often in future videos if this trend of demonetization and algorithmic throttling just keeps going at this pace. These kinds of ads, the two mix ones, are numerous. That's just one of the larger culprits right now. But the mobile game industry seems to have nailed that down as a primary marketing tactic these days. I'm not suggesting that every single one be held to the same standard or that every single one even demands some kind of massive outrage, but the two mix ones in particular have been around for years. There's a snapshot of the same stepmom ad on the Quarterings channel, the YouTuber that originally posted the screenshot on Twitter that sent me down this journey in the first place, when he had 345,000 subs, he now has well over a million. Worse yet, YouTube actually replied to this on social media. Team YouTube said, quote, Thanks for letting us know. We rely on YouTube community members to flag ads that they believe violate advertisement guidelines. Please report this ad using our AdWords feedback form here. Appreciate your effort in keeping our platform safe. End quote. And at that time, I can only speculate that this ad was reported by one or many individuals or was reported many times since that period. But guess what? It's still around. Just one month ago, another YouTuber named Mohammed Agbadi did a full 20 minute video just about the two mix ads, which goes into far more detail. And literally one day ago, a viewer sent me a screenshot saying that they saw one of these two mix ads for the same cartoon on my video 
calling these practices out right before my own video got demonetized. YouTube clearly, intentionally, isn't doing anything about this. Instead, they throttle and suppress people that highlight what's going on. The problems go way deeper than just the cartoon ads, but that was the straw that broke the camel's back for me. This video as well will most likely get throttled, suppressed, and demonetized, even though I'm calling out stuff that really deserves their focus more than this. So again, please check out Locals if you have any interest for $5 a month. It's obvious that ad revenue is not something that can be relied on anymore. That's it though. Yes, a complete rant of video, I understand that. I apologize with very little background visuals as well, but that just seems to be what's required in order to talk about this kind of thing and not get shoved in a basement somewhere by the algorithm. Or worse yet, an actual human person that manually reviews the content and thinks, yeah, yeah, let's uh, demonetize and throttle that channel for talking about this stuff, but then we'll leave all of the things that he talked about up, and they have been up for years, and we're intentionally not doing anything about it, but we're punishing the people that talk. I'm done. Thanks for watching. Have a nice night.